Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to fix any pinching problems that you have with your rig uh, around joints specifically. So uh, I'll just show you. Uh, so as you can see, uh, around the hip area on the thighs, uh, there's some very severe pinching. Um, when I turn on Preserve All, you can, you can see the uh, the uh, corrective shape key that I made here. Uh, really smooths it out and all, almost makes it look uh, seamless. Uh, on this side, I still haven't added the shape key, and uh, that's what we're going to do here today. So hopefully, this sensor will avoid this video from getting taken down. Uh, and the reason I do the hip is because that's where the problem is most severe. I know it happens around the uh, the knees and the elbows a little bit as well, but right here is where it's always the worst for me. So I'm going to turn off reserve volume. Actually, no, I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to create a new shape key. So this one's just going to be 51. I'm going to set this value all the way up. And now let's uh, move to the extreme position. Uh, and I'm going to make sure you turn on these two uh, buttons right here. This will allow you to edit uh, the object while it's posed. So if you see when I turn them off, normally it's like that. Uh, we want this on so we can edit the object. And I'm going to go into sculpt mode actually with the smooth brush. Actually real quick I'm going to turn on screencast. Oh, never mind, it's already on. Uh, so with a smooth brush we're just going to sort of smooth out all the uh, the vertices around this area just so it's easier to move them around. Okay, so now we smoothed it out quite a bit. Uh, one second, actually I need to check something. Okay, another thing you need to make sure is that uh, X mirroring is turned off. Because uh, I've done that a few times where I'm sculpting some stuff and then I realize it's mirrored. So I need to undo everything and then do it again. It's a whole pain in the butt. Okay, so now that we have this area sort of smoothed out, let's sort of pull this out a little bit. And go back to sculpt mode and smooth it out a bit more. Just until it kind of looks like a natural rest position for this. So to me, that looks... That looks pretty okay at this point. And so uh, now you can see when I move this value it'll change, uh, it'll flip between the posed and unposed. Uh, sorry I'm not thinking straight today, I'm kind of a little bit slow. Uh, so now we want to create a shape key for this because if you notice when I have this value all the way up and the pose is back to regular there's like a lump and uh, we don't want that lump. So the way you can do this is by right clicking the value slider for this new shape key and we're going to uh, do a manually create later and here I'm just going to close this so I can show you guys where to open it from. So when you split off the view you can open up a new uh, panel here, the graph editor and then set this F curve to driver and uh, with the body selected you should get a list of all the uh, all the shape keys with drivers on them. So 51 is the one we currently have selected so we want to edit that one and we will select uh, we'll go to drivers right here and what we want to do is we want to have the uh, thigh bone that's right here affect this driver and so since I'm using Rigify I'm going to select it and I'm going to see what it's called. It's called deform thigh left. Okay, deform thigh L. Another thing I'm going to check is I'm going to select the axis and I'm going to check which axis this is rotating on. So it's rotating like this which means it's rotating along the Z axis. So we want to use the local Z axis of this bone to control the shape key. So now that we know that we'll select our rig. So I'll just type in rig and then we want the bone, which was uh, deform. So the car's a little bit loud outside. Deform thigh. What is this left? Yes, be, I believe this is left. And then we want local space and Z rotation. There we go. But as you can see, this is a at the uh, extreme pose. This is at negative uh, 1.5, and so this isn't really going to affect the value slider because uh, this value directly affects this value. So the way, a way we can fix that, also we need to switch this to average value. 
So it's still not doing anything. Though actually at this position it's... Is it doing... No, it's not doing anything. I thought for a second it was still affecting it. Okay, so we need to add a modifier here. The modifier we're going to add is generator. And basically, uh, if, if you remember uh, basic uh, algebra, uh, this is basically affecting the graph. So right now it's going up by a step of 1, uh, and it's starting at 0. Uh, since, this is, since this value is going negatively, we want it to go, we want this to also go negatively. So I'm going to set this to negative 1. And if I update dependencies, now you can see that it's affecting it. So I'm going to play the animation. And you can see it's kind of working, but about halfway through, when the leg is about at this point, it's kind of bulging out. Uh, which is something that we want to avoid. So uh, you can lower this value down, or I guess technically uh, make it higher. So I'm going to move this to the point where it's bulging the most, probably around here. And I believe the last one was set to 0 0.75, so I'm going to set this one to 0 0.75 as well, or negative 0.75, I guess. Let's update dependencies. And there we go. So that looks a little bit better. It's still bulging a little bit, but that's good for what we want. And so now you can see, uh, even in the rest pose, it looks good. And then the transition between the rest pose and the extreme pose, uh, yeah, there's a little bit of pinching. But for the most part, it's uh, good throughout the entire way. Uh, but now uh, another quick fix, uh, and I'm just going to do this just because it's kind of related, is uh, with uh, since we have preserved volume on, uh, when we lift up the leg, You'll notice the knee sort of bulges out here. Let me turn off the deformed bones. So you'll notice the knee really bulges out there. And I'll show you what I mean. So when I turn off the preserve volume, you can see the hip kind of gets pinched off too. But uh, the knee goes back to normal. So here, let me show you. So without preserve volume, the shape keys, it's, kind of, it's a lot harder to pose them. Uh, but with it, the knees will also get screwed up. So it's kind of like a take and give sort of situation. Uh, but we want to switch this to an only take situation. We don't want to give nothing. So a way we can do that is by creating a, a vertex group. And so this preserve volume will only affect a certain vertex group. And so I'm going to create one right now. Uh, I already had some set up there that I did earlier, but I'm going to create a new one. So this one's just called group. Uh, Shoot, I don't want to go back to basic so it's not showing me the shape key in edit mode. So we just want to select sort of this general hip area. And, and I'm holding down Alt to select loop cuts and holding down shift, shift so I'm not just selecting, so I could select multiples at once. So shift select that, shift select that, and shift select here. Then control plus plus on the keypad. And that will increase your selection size. And this is pretty much the entire area that, that we want uh, to be affected by the um, preserve volume. So we'll just click Assign. And uh, I'll rename this to Volume, just so it's easier to find. Volume. OK. But the problem uh, we face now is uh, when I put this in, Volume, and we play the animation, you see now it's only affecting that area, which is uh, Kind of the opposite that we want. Even when I flip these arrows, it'll affect everything except that. So uh, the only fix I was able to find for that is by adding another armature and using the same rig, and only having this one set to preserve volume. Volume, and I want this to be flipped the other way. So I'll click these little arrows here. Uh, but now you can see it's like freaking out when I do that. That is because we need to uh, turn on multi modifier. So make, make sure this is on for both the uh, armatures. And uh, once that is all said and done, now you will have a properly deforming uh, uh, hips for your armature. So you can see right here is deforming nicely. And if I go back to the first frame and actually lift up the knee, you can see uh, it's bending here properly too. So you're not getting that pinching effect. And uh, if the shape key is kind of, or not the shape key, if the vertex group is kind of uh, giving you a sharp edge. What you can do is select your vertex group, go into weight paint, and select the uh, where is it? The blur brush, 
and you can kind of smooth it all out if you want. So this will help you get less uh, sharp edges uh, where the two armatures meet. And so now it should look a little bit better. But uh, that's about it. So hopefully this helped at least some of you. I know I've had this problem for a long time. Um, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.